We are back at it with some more MX Sim, and we're currently on Iron Man, the race that's happening this weekend. This track's actually a lot of fun, but there's some more important news that we got to talk about. So it appears that World Supercross has canceled a few of the upcoming rounds. I learned about this on Twitter. Shout out to the boy Tanner, aka uh, T Hall 767. He tweeted out World Supercross is officially on life support, and he in that tweet he had a story from Michael Lessey basically saying that. Bummer news. They canceled their rounds. I'm not flying to California. Um, if you guys need me, hit me up, basically. So, I mean, I'm not surprised that the rounds are canceled. Um, this happened last year as well. Some of the rounds got canceled. Um, so, I'm not surprised about it. I am surprised that they started the racing so early. Like, round one was, what, two months ago, it feels like? And then round two is supposed to be, like, this September or some sometime in September. I just don't understand why they took, like, two months off. In between the rounds obviously i'm not they i don't know any logistics about it right i just thought it was odd that they started round one and then round two wasn't for like another month um just kind of made no sense to me if anything they should have started it like after the outdoor season like i don't know why they didn't uh, i don't know what they're trying to like battle they, they already had guys signed and i feel like all the guys signed would have been much better to have like a race off weekend a race off weekend a race and just kind of go from there but I feel like having two months off in between a round is just nonsense. Like it shouldn't even happen, you know? It just feels like a, a random event. It feels like a Paris Supercross, which is just like, for us, it's just a random event, you know? But then again, we could talk about this for days and I still don't understand why they did it like that. I also heard some rumors that the funding um, is not going well. They're trying to do another round of funding. Would it be surprising to say that World Supercross would be like not around in a couple years? Um, I don't think anybody would be surprised about it, especially with like the super motocross thing going on and the playoffs and everything. I feel like with that, if that actually works out to be extremely good, I feel like the world supercross thing is just kind of pointless because there's a lot of money in that world or in the playoffs, right? There's a lot, a lot of money in that. And I feel like people would kind of focus on that more than try to focus on world supercross, especially if it's like the funding is drying up, right? Uh, then again, I'm not a news reporter. I'm just hearing what I've heard. And I'm seeing things on Twitter, so don't quote me on anything, okay? I think it would be cool if we were able to incorporate some overseas Supercrosses in the Supercross season. I know it's logistically not feasible, right? I know that. It also would be cool to see like an outdoor season with the GPs mixed. That would be so sick if somehow we were able to get those GP guys over here every single weekend and then incorporate some races overseas, such as like Lommel, Ernie, and just like those events and just like kind of kind of match like the schedule where it just works out maybe take like a couple weeks off during the outdoor season get everybody incorporated overseas for a few rounds and then come back to the u.s and do like the last couple rounds i think that would be sick right to have those gp guys like race every single weekend with us i mean it would just it would just be insane the the racing talent would just be nuts but then again that won't happen either that's just a fantasy right but that would be probably one of the sickest things ever. That's kind of all the news I've heard so far, all the rumors and everything like that. And if I hear anything else, I'll put it in another video. Uh, but yeah, just stay, stay tuned to Twitter, man. A lot of people tweet out all this stuff that I'm just talking about. So you guys can probably get it firsthand. I don't know how the hell I just landed that. But Iron Man is up next. And I'm still excited to watch this. Honestly, because you have Jet trying to go undefeated. Like, will that be like the first ever rookie to do that? You still have the, the championship battle with Hunter, Cooper, and Joe with Joe and Hunter still mathematically not eliminated, right? So that should be interesting. Anything can happen in that 250 class. I mean, we've seen it happen this year multiple times, right? Hunter crash at uh, Redbud. You have Hunter's bike blowing up at Southwick. You have Deegan's bike blowing up at Unadilla. Just anything is possible. Like you gotta stay tuned for the, t for the races and stuff because it's going to be exciting. Hopefully, it's going to be exciting. And then you got Jet trying to go for an undefeated season. I, I think he does it. I'm still rooting for the boy Chase, but I'm pretty sure Jet's going to get it. And it's going to be history. And it's going to be awesome to see that we're watching history, you know? But if I had to pick, uh, I'm going to go with Chase winning the race. He, he snaps the undefeated streak. It probably won't happen. But for the 250 guys, I don't know. I think Hunter probably wins it. Deegan looked great, great last weekend. Jay Cooper is going to come out swinging. But I think it's just Hunter's title. Obviously, I don't know if Hunter's going to like maybe win. He might just take a backseat and just stay healthy if he's up in the mix. Right. So maybe that allows like 
a Levi Kitchen to win a race or maybe Deegan win or Cooper win. But I don't see Hunter honestly like going for a first. I think he's going to play conservative there and just kind of stay alive and just not not go down or not take a huge points hit. That's my thinking. So I think the 250s actually is just going to be some someone else in Hunter and it probably going to be a star guy, whether that's Jay Coop, Levi, um, or Deegan. That's probably my my predictions. I know it's kind of vague. Maybe even Joe too. Joe's looking pretty good. A Moto 1 of last week. So maybe Joe. Um, but yeah, those are my guys. I forgot to mention this as well, but I heard some rumors on Motocross Designations. It appears that Aaron Plessinger is a lock for it. It appears that Jason Anderson is not doing it. It appears that Barsha might, might do a 250, but most likely not doing it. I heard Deegan and his camp doesn't want to do it. I heard Chase Sexton wants to do it, whether that's on a Honda or KTM, that's still unsure, but I know that he wants to do it. I don't even know who we're left with at this point for like the third guy. Jay Coop possibly, maybe RJ, but RJ just had a massive concussion, so I don't know if he's going to be ready. It's all up in there, but yeah, that's just some of the rumors I heard. If you guys have heard anything else, let me know in the comments below. But switching gears just a little bit, in yesterday's video, I mentioned that I'll give you guys my thoughts about the Gamescom that happened yesterday yesterday and uh there's a lot of trailers that got dropped which i'm very excited about first one up is starfield another trailer got released i'm very very interested i've heard really good things on twitter i've heard really good things in youtube videos um i'm seeing a bunch of good things coming from starfield from the playtest so uh, i'm very very excited about that the next one uh there's a brand new call of duty trailer you guys know me i love call of duty i didn't watch any of this trailer i'm not gonna lie with you guys i haven't seen a clip about it and um yeah i'm not gonna probably watch it because i feel like trailers for call of duty just is never the same as the actual gameplay yeah the trailer is basically pointless but i've heard really good things about the new game coming out which i'm excited for the beta is coming like october 6 or something like that for playstation and like the weekend after that is uh the the pc one so we'll definitely play the pc one i'm not going to do what i did last year aka buy it on playstation play for two days and then never do anything with it i'm not going to make that same mistake um so we're just going to wait and play it when the beta actually drops for us there was an allen 2 new trailer after watching it i don't know if i'll play it i know i mentioned this in like a video before that we might try it. i don't know if i'll try this man i'm kind of tired of horror games a little bit after playing so much of them I'm kind of tired a little bit of them, so I might skip on that one. There's a new trailer for Mortal Kombat 1 reveals two new fighters. I probably won't play Mortal Kombat. I kind of mentioned that in a video earlier that I just never grew up playing fighting games like that. So that just really doesn't pique my interest. So we'll kind of just skip on that. There was a new trailer for Assassin's Creed Mirage. I'm very interested in this one. I haven't played Assassin's Creed in so long, but I'm actually interested in playing this new one since we have been dabbling in other games. I don't know if I'll post videos on it because I know that like for Assassin's Creed, they're like the hours for this game is probably going to be in the hundreds. So I probably won't post videos on this per se, but I am definitely going to give this a shot and play it and see how we like it. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed in so long and it looks like it's releasing October 5th. So we have about a month until it drops. There's going to be a new update for Cyberpunk 2077 coming. I don't know if I'll play it. We did a full playthrough on the play channel of Cyberpunk. I honestly don't know if I'll play the Phantom Liberty um, like storyline. I, I don't think I will, honestly. There was a new Sonic Superstars, Sonic Frontiers, uh, Quantum Dream. Another game that kind of piqued my interest was Little Nightmares 3. It kind of reminded me of It Takes Two, which we played on the Play Channel. I'm going to have to reach out to the boy Zug to see if he's interested in doing this one. It looks cool. It looks interesting. But honestly, I, I don't know if we'll play this. A game that has really piqued my interest from the Gamescom was Black Myth Wukong. This game looks interesting. It looks like a Souls-like game. I'm very excited to get some more information on this, get some more footage on this. It looks really, really good. And I might have to try this one out, whether we play it for like videos or we just play it. Um, I played Lies of Peace, which is like a Souls like we played Elden Ring in the past. There's another game, Lord of the Fallen, which is in another trailer for this, which I'm excited for. So I'm going to definitely test the waters on this game. Do we make videos? I, I don't know, but we're definitely going to test the waters on this. Another game that really piqued my interest was Crimson Desert. It's another Souls like game which uh, I think it's going to be really, really good. Based off the footage I've seen, it looks really good. Uh, but then again, it's been in the works for a long, long time. And honestly, there's not even a release date for it. So I don't even know when that's going to be like 
coming out. But it does look good and it has piqued my interest to maybe keep an eye on this game for the future. Also in the opening night of Gamescom was Motorfest, the Crew Motorfest. We're going to give that one a go since we've been playing car games. I think that's going to be a little bit of fun just hanging out with the boys, messing around on that. And then the last game that really piqued my interest was Lords of the Fallen. They just released kind of like a new trailer for it. It's coming out on October 13th. So it's another Souls-like game. I feel like the Souls-like genre is like kind of like taking over not really honestly but i feel like those games do really really well and they're really really fun to play so i'm kind of interested in that and just kind of go from there but there's a lot of different trailers that got released i'll drop the link in the description if you guys want to check it out it's just from ign and there's even probably more footage this was just like the opening night there's probably even more today that i haven't even seen so let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in any of the games that i kind of mentioned or if you guys have a game in mind that you guys are really looking forward to below let me know your guys' thoughts on the world supercross thing as well man i would love to hear what you guys have to say about it and uh, we can just have a kind of like a discussion about it if you guys post something i think is like video worthy talking about i'll definitely have like opinion on it right so let me know in the comments below i hope you guys have a lovely lovely day and we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow for a brand new video i'm out peace